Right, guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today, you join me at the Monaco Yacht Show with a very special guest, Mr. Alex Jimenez, AKA The Yacht Guy on Instagram. So be sure to give him a follow. Thank you. And we're gonna be doing the tour here on board Triumph, which is a 65 meter Benetti delivered in 2021. We've done a quick five minute tour on board. Uh, we don't really know about that well, so we're just gonna give you guys a little walkthrough and kind of wing it as we make our way. Wing it as we go, that's, the, way, that's the best way to do it. Right, so we're starting here on the foredeck. As an option, we are talking to the owner's rep. He's, as an option, what you could have had on this foredeck is a, um, uh, a heli deck. So a quick, um, you know, pop on, pop on heli deck, but the new owner's chosen not to, uh, not to go for that option. Yep. So instead they put some sun lounges up here. And just here further off, all these windows you see actually go into the master cabin, which we'll see, we'll see shortly. Now, before we take off here, you're gonna notice there are no utilities up here, no equipment. It is clean, right. yep. everything is below deck, right? Yeah. And um, you know more about these things, the cleats and all that. So. Yeah, so there's no, there's no anchoring station here. The anchoring station, like Alex said, is actually further down. So the windlasses, the bits, the cleats, where you tie the boat up from the bow is all underneath. So it keeps all this deck flush and more private for the owner. The other thing about this yacht, it's quite interesting, it is available for charter. Amazing, isn't it? It's incredible. Uh, we're speaking to the captain, actually, Captain Mike. They've done this summer in the Med, they did 14 weeks of actual charter, plus owner usage on top of that. The charter rate was 650 euros, okay. low season, up to 695 euros, high season. Amazing memory, this guy, because I forgot that already, I did it only five <laughs> minutes ago, so. So you're interested. If you learn, if you're interested to learn more about the availability of the charter, you want to charter this yacht, I'll put a link to the website in the description box below. All right, what do you reckon about this, Alex? This is amazing. I can spend, well, he said they spend a lot of time here, and I can see why, there. right? Yeah. I can see why, because look at this. Who wants to leave? You get your glass of Prosecco, yeah. right? Some snacks, you got the view. I mean, I can't imagine being up forward while you're moving around, but while you're at anchor, anchor. this is the spot yeah. to be at, man. Or well, you're anchored outside Portofino, you got uh, a Bellini on the go, a bit of yes. Andrea Bocelli music playing in the background. You got your biminis. You got your biminis, the you got the the rain. Shade, oh, this, tunes, is, this, this is the good. spot, this is the spot. A little music. And then from here, if you want to get tired, you want to go for a bit of a nap, you come round and you've got the master cabin. Should we make right our way? Here, yeah. I think they're gonna like this. And here we are, man. Look at this thing. What do you reckon? Huh? This is amazing. It's got full view of the four deck. So this becomes essentially like the owner's private deck. Pretty much. Guests aren't gonna be able to access. Sorry. Oh, they could actually. It's my watch you. going off. You got the mirrors, all important mirrors. I know Tristan the cameraman likes the, uh, the mirrors behind the bed, very <laughs> plain for Tom. Big doubles. And then that will take us into, so into, got a vanity here, walk-in closet. Now this is quite impressive. If you come into the master bath, obviously this looks like all Carrara marble by the looks of it, but you've got your own private master sauna. Now, I think it's only right that we are uh... Guys, let's go inside, see how I'm gonna get in. You turn that up all the way to like 50. Or yeah. whatever the number is. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll cook in there for a little while. This is good, a little bit of soup you can have here. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this is really nice. Nice big shower, the bench, and you got the bathtub here. Keep it old school. And all the uh, Joe Malone toiletries. Love it, Joe Malone. Joe Malone. Oh look, they've even got the Solas plaque on the doors. So this will be this will be a coded door that will meet some sort of fire requirements. I've not seen a plaque on a door like that before, have you? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah? I think we missed the big TV. I can lay here and watch TV all day, a little bit of uh... So who was he saying the interior design was done by? Does it say? I brought notes. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't prepared for this at all, but that's like. right. Exterior design by Giorgio Cassetta. Cassetta. Interior design by Green. Oh yeah, Mrs. Lady Green. Wh who's on board, by the way? She greeted us. Is that Lady? That Green? was her. Ah, ah. Interesting. Right, and then this we come the master office. Now the owner's rep was telling us about these pictures. These are actual original photos 
I so the I'm sure if the camera's going to be difficult, there's a lot of glare and reflection happening, but it's absolutely stunning. And this artwork is featured throughout the yacht. Right there, if that's what you're looking for. There we go, <laughs> David Yarrow. What's going on here? Beautiful. Autograph piece. Yeah. So you can see, look. It's amazing, oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Fantastic photography. Stunning. Right, let's continue the tour. I'm in master desk, so if you're on holiday, hopefully not. If you need to do some work, you can do it here. Um, I think, and it, ah, so the owners had it facing the, um, picture. The, the picture. Personally, I would have turned the desk around and have it facing out. I have that view, but hey, yeah. if, you're, if you're a fan of Yarrow, yeah. nothing compares. Nothing compares. Well, Alex, where are we going into now? Where's this? So this is the uh, what I like to call the elevator room. The elevator. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys got a different name for this it. This is probably the, the, lo the lobby area. The lobby. The master cabin deck, master deck lobby. And what was it? And here we had. Oh uh, yeah, the massage room. Right, straight on to come around. This is amazing. I'm gonna look in the it. massage room. This is where Alex spent most of his time, uh, not getting a massage. <laughs> <laughs> That smells nice in here. You guys can smell. It says like those scent. essential oils yeah. you know, that oh, you that get in a great. normal. You could do your nails in here. Get your nails done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yours look like they could do the manicure. <laughs> <laughs> and so the elevator goes down from the lower decks all the way to the top deck, right? right? To the top. On the very, very top. Right. So we go into the main salon. Main is salon. This no, this would be, I guess, the it's not a British deck, owner's deck salon. Is it the owner's deck salon? This one here, bridge deck. Well, but, uh, but the bridge is above, right? Uh, yeah, bridge deck. Sorry, this is the upper deck salon. Upper deck salon. Upper that's deck the salon. Sorry, no I worries, mate. Only one. I got confused with that. These are the pros, dude. So I, I'm not alone. All right. Upper deck salon. TV. Thing. More of the artwork. And so the owner of this yacht is a huge. The name of the yacht's called Triumph because he's a huge fan of the Triumph motorcycles. And this is the eighth Triumph ever built. You got it on board, it's just an absolute work of art. I got to Alex. drive it around Monaco yesterday. And yeah. uh, we took it for a ride. Alex was pulling wheelies in front of Principality. That's right. Waving uh, at Prince Albert yeah, he, well, he wasn't happy with it. He, so he <laughs> said, put that back. Gave <laughs> yeah. so, you a bollocking. But all the like the, the carpets are very nice. It's very soft to walk on, and so, that's what I was just gonna ask. It's yeah. Super soft. Super you feel soft. that you walk yeah. on it. It's like yeah. The quality of the material. So is plush. Really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. More of the David Yarrow. Right. So then I guess we'll go through and continue upstairs. Yes. Or should we call the elevator? Room. Should we give it a go? Why not? All right, I guess that opens like that. There we go. After you, please. Thank you very much. I don't get my you. fingerprints in so the glass. Tight. So we're going to the bridge deck. So pushing number two. Let's go. Wow. Beam me up, Scotty. that and then we make our way in to the wheelhouse so what we'll do all right chaps gentlemen gentlemen how's it going good 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 I think that's probably Tristan as well oh, Tristan and Tristan yeah Tristan not just Alex uh, so. <laughs> are you guys ETOs are you no, no. Uh, I'm an engineer, I'm an engineer, so ETO. Tristan. Tristan, I'm the... Lou? Louis. Louis. Yeah. Hamish. Hamish. Big signs in your check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right, so this, because Alex is a professional, right, he's going to give us all the lowdown of all the equipment here yeah, on the pay bridge. Pay attention, folks. <laughs> this is going to be... And you might learn a thing or two. Okay, here. yeah. Um, you need to call your mum? Call your mum? Yeah, right, yeah right, I like right that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These TVs tell you some stuff like uh, so you like Netflix, Amazon Prime. Well, no, let's not get crazy. But we have, we do have the Google Maps. Right. Little, if you want to play a little with Atari, some Pac-Man. Pa oh, okay, yes, you didn't know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what a lot of people do not know. This is what you should know is 
how did that yacht get there so fast? It's simple. This is actually a plane too. You push this <laughs> forward and just like in an airplane, it takes off. It takes off. It takes right. off. So I, I would tell you guys a little bit more, but it might. Yeah. What's this? What's this circle thing do? It's just there for looks. This doesn't, really, okay. doesn't do it's anything. Aesthetic. It's just aesthetics, exactly. If you want to rest here, beautiful, beautiful bridge though. Mm. No, but you tell us what really, what's vertical, the list of really is. Vertical windows, so they'll have um, full Ectus on board this, this vessel, VHF radios, steerings, be twin screws. I think the main engines are MTU, so I remember correctly, on the old brasher. Oh. You guys a bit of info here. So they've got the V12 MTU 4000s, cruising speed is 15 knots, max speed is 16 knots, with a 4,700 nautical, nautical mile range at 12 knots. Can sleep 14 guests and 17 crew. That's pretty good. And if you're wondering why we have this, because this was a last minute shoot. We yeah. were outside walking and we were we, like, hey, what the hell? Let's we literally just walked and we come in the video and they said, yeah, so we're here. So no preparation, which is good. What you're, we're seeing what you guys are seeing for the first time. Here we have the GMDSS station. So there'll be things like Navtex here, AIS. Um, they've got a GPS receiver, SAT-C. This looks like another VHF radio, yep. Um, so all the equipment. So that's the typical bridge equipment. And in here, I would assume, will be the servers and monitoring. Oh, interesting. Yeah, what a okay. Well, well, that'll, be the, that'll be the yacht's onboard monitoring system. The watertight door controller, as Tristan correctly said. And they got the fire doors. Um, oh, the fire suppression system, high fog. And fire alarm system. So that's all in there. Very nicely tucked away. I was going to point all that stuff out yeah. before you got to it, but that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. And then they've got the uh, interesting also the, I think that's a Sperry, is that a Sperry magnetic compass? Yep. Sperry Marine magnetic compass as well. Oh. Oh, 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 not touching anything. Yeah. And if you're old school and you prefer the old fashioned paper charts, you have these here with your dividers, your rulers, your pencils, so you can plot your, your routes from point A to point B. Now, here's a question for you. Yeah. Why do you need the paper chart for a lot of us well, it who depends. don't know? Okay, so you can get vessels. So with Ectus, you need to have two separate units, mm -hmm. two separate backups, uh, two separate SOLAS approved GPS receivers, okay. your log, your gyro compass input as well. You could have that and that you won't need paper okay. charts, okay? But a lot of the old school captains would, even though you have that system, it's still digital. You're still relying on a system that can fail. Paper charts will never fail. So if this ever went down, you, this, got, that. you got this that's, no matter that's what. That's probably their, their third backup. But even if everything went down and you still have this, yep. everything's down, you can't do anything anyhow. You're kind of floating and bobbing around, right? Well, you, I'm talking about if the navigation equipment goes down. Okay. If you still have main engines, right. and you can still navigate the yacht, or if everything goes down, you can still plot your position. Okay. So you still say, if you need help, say you're in a mayday, this all fails, your GPS fails, you can plot your position, say you're coastal, you're doing yep. a three-point fix or whatever it is, you can then say to the Coast Guard, this is our last year longitude. And they can from there from determine they will the wind in. and the waves and... Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. You thought you knew, but you didn't. Yes. Now you know. Right. Um, and then, Sorry. there he is. How you doing? Good. This is the captain's cabin, right? It is, yep. Can we have a quick look in there? Is that okay with you? Right. Fortunately, the captain's very kind and he's let us film in his cabin. Did you want to check something before we go in there? You sure? You got no stewardess hiding in there? <laughs> Inflatable <laughs> items. <laughs> oh, the captain's office. Oh, this is nice. Nice view outside. All the documentation. Neat stuff. Sweet. Oh, very nice and tidy. I'll tell you where my desk was, that's for sure. Right, so we make our way up the stairs to the top deck up here, Alex. It's very cute area, isn't it? It's like a chill, come read your book type Private. space. Just like poker out. with your mates on this table, get the poker yeah. table set up. It's perfect. Away from the street view, I mean, it's, you're high yeah, enough nice and high where you, um, you can see people, but they really can't see you. And then we make our way forward on the top deck and you have the jacuzzi, lounge area and shade. 
And oh. when Alex has finished spending too much time in the massage room, this is where he'll come and relax oh, even more. Man, let me tell you. That's the spot right That's there. That's the spot yeah. right there. I mean, it's a little it? cold though. It's a little chilly. It is a little chilly. You might need cooling down after spending all that time in the massage well, room anyway. I, I can definitely see myself hanging out up here. I'm just watching this view, bubbles flowing. Yeah, and then when you finish, you might want to come and chill. Take a seat. Well, let's do it. Take a seat. Take a seat. Try not to wrinkle. We'll try not to wrinkle it. That's see, that's always the thing. You get on these boards, you, you, you know how hard the crew works. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't, don't want to wrinkle mess it. Up their, their stuff. And interesting, what I've noticed is we did a the video tour on board Laurel, the mm -hmm. 70 meter Delta. They had the uh, Starlink satellite internet. You know the new Elon Musk. Oh, really? These guys here have two. You see these little things oh, here? Oh yeah, yeah. Those are the Starlink satellites. That's the way forward now, because well, so, VSAT's well, so expensive. Well, Elon Musk, from what I understand, has seen so many people retrofit his Starlink that they decided it to is. start making a marine version that's and right. make it available, right? Absolutely. That's, Absolutely. that's really awesome. I think what they're using here is what they call the RV version, because mm -hmm. okay. they're obviously moving, yep. and these move depending on where the boat is. But they're saying, I was talking to the chief officer on Laurel, and he was saying mid-Atlantic, like mid-ocean, it's not quite there yet, but in the next few years, they'll have the technology. Oh yeah, and I, I think VSAT might be our business. To be honest, I with think you. I think that's going to be great, and I think yeah. the, I wouldn't be surprised if they set, they make them so that you can put them up. They up will. Top. They yeah. will. Hundred percent. Right. So that's the top tech. Great. Let's go. Let's go around this way. Nice view of the bow as well. Huh? I like that very pointy. Didn't bow. make a mess. Got your speakers up here. And then you've got all your radar antennas, GPS antennas, satellite domes for all your communications, uh, TV, VSAT, all nice and high. Oh, this, this should be where you spend the most of your time, This should Alex. be where I spend most of my time. As you know, I've uh, done some bodybuilding in my age. Built it a little bit this way, Yeah. a little bit this way. Yeah. But now I'm trying to build it this way. More of so, a six keg, keg than a six pack. Huh? Yes, exactly. What? One <laughs> <I'm> keg. <joking. laughs> so nice. what do you recommend I get on? I reckon you get on the cross trainer. Of course you do. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Get it, do it. Now How many we, calories can we get Alex to burn in the next two minutes? By the time you guys see this, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'm officially now, and then, Martha here is gonna, we're gonna get the Martha Stewart channel with some pasta going to get me really worked up. Like, oh yeah, like hanging a carrot in front of a donkey. You know, it's kind of the same deal. Little Alfredo, I want that Alfredo. Right, so that's healthy. You're doing, you're doing good. Am I doing good? You're doing good, you're a little bit slow, but like, you know, you gotta build up slowly, I guess, to warm up. This guy's gonna complain about how fast I'm going? <laughs> Jeez, that's it. Uh, it's actually quite nice because all the gym equipment is actually facing off, so you get that nice view when you're working out. You know, the pantry there for your refreshments. You've got the, the dumbbells. We actually had these exact dumbbells on AWOL, so you can choose your weight and then lift it up. And then obviously you've got all the, the wire pulls for your... Now, how, how do these work exactly? What are they turn? Does a tension? Yeah, tension. Uh, this yeah, one, exactly. Like this, this will... Yeah. And then you, you can do what yeah, like, uh, it comes go. with a list of workouts that you can do. Yeah. That's amazing. Breathe. That is very cool, isn't it? Nice. And you set all, you set the strength of the tension on here. Yeah. Ah, so, so you spin thing. that around, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, interesting. There's a light up. Yeah, I don't know if it's on there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And then it tightens up. And it'll tighten up, up your lines, yeah, so, you know. That's actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Something I see that's, that's a, pretty that's cool. First. I feel like this industry, you, you always learn new things. Look how thick these doors are. Wow. Those are solid, huh? It's amazing. Yeah. I, I love the fact that they do te uh, the details. Everything's in the details. Speaking yeah. of details, this video is sponsored by Triumph. Drink Triumph for a healthy life, for a winning life. And stay refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're leaving the gym, but continue making our way aft. These doors open up, right, Alex? These. That's what they said. Yeah. Fold right open. Open. Work out like you're outside instead of having a closed Indoor, door. Get outdoor that breeze. Gym. Yeah, it'd be great. After your workout, Tito's and soda. Cheetos and soda. <laughs> no, Tito's, Tito's the vodka. Oh, Tito's. Tito's. Yeah, Tito's Oops. vodka. Oh, be careful here. You got like a little. Oh. Nasty that. How's your toe? Anyway, no, 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 I just stepped on it, it's fine. Oof. 
Then, oh, oh you got the non-alcoholic Heineken's. Non-alcoholic Heineken's. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. yeah well, that's good. So they got IPA as well. Indian Pale Ale. And then this is just, oh, so nice, isn't it? I think the uh, I like non the, the non-alcoholic beer is a great idea. You get those people who don't know how to stop drinking, and you're like, "Yeah, that's fine. Here you go. I'm gonna pour you another one." And you just, just keep giving them the non-alcoholic. Like, like that's what they give you, is it? That's exactly. Yeah, what they yeah. I don't drink, but I only drink Triumph. <laughs> <laughs> nice sunshade as well. We can actually go down the stairs onto the. This is the bridge deck, right? So that'll be the owner's deck, right? And then we come down to upper deck where we saw earlier we saw also the triumph motorcycle the interior this is the exterior so this would be where they get guests eat most of their meals i guess alex yeah what a what a scene listen i wouldn't mind eating enjoy, any meal here yeah enjoy your food with your friends or your family put yourself into a food coma oh. and after that is come have here have your espresso pick it up a bit this I, don't, I mean, everywhere you go on this boat, you kind of yeah. just want to hang out. You do. You know? Every, it's a good, every it's a, area. This is a good spot to hang yeah. out. Oh, this is a good spot to hang out. So every, everywhere you go, it's cool to hang out. Yeah. Um, and which is something you see on most boats. But on this one, there's a lot of boats you'll get on. You'll be like, yeah, I can sit here for a few minutes, but I get tired of yeah. it really fast, right? Yeah. Here, yeah. you could probably take a nap yeah. on, every, in, on every level. They've actually, what I've realized, they found the perfect combination of luxury style, but more importantly, comfort. Yeah, exactly. So it looks stylish, but it's super but it's comfortable. Super comfortable. And that's a really difficult combination to put together. And having this indoor, outdoor living, those big open doors, it's just. What and what space. makes it good is you get, and you can't experience that on video, the, the breeze, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're warm, we can feel warm, but you get that nice, nice. cross breeze coming through. Absolutely. Even when you walk yeah. in, you can yeah, feel yeah. it coming up from aft, yeah. right? Because you're only seeing it when you're doing a video, you're watching a video, you only see 2D, you don't get to feel, you don't get the smell. Right. You don't get, you know, you don't get those other feelings. I like the artwork there as well. One of the Great. things I've learned from being on yachts, and um, for those of you who have not been on yachts, you're going to hurt your toe a bunch of times on this thing. <laughs> You'll learn eventually, but this thing will, oh man. Yeah. The toes will have a number. That's why we have shoes. Yeah, but not the guests though. Why are they so big? Let's, why don't we break it down for us? For us, uh, people why, who why don't is this? Know, so why big? are these so high up, and why is it so thick? Well, I'm guessing the reason why it's so high up is to meet regulation. So this if this gets full of water, water in here, it's not going to be seeping underneath the bulkhead. There you go. And there you have it. But also, you think it, you'll be quite careful. It might be slippery. You might put some non-skid. No, I don't, I'm I'm being, think they I'm polish being, it. I think being, they wipe it down, but they, I don't think I'm they being, polish it. Though. I'm being picky. Okay, so from the owner's deck, come down to the main deck. Again, beautiful. Oh, look, they got two pictures the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very right, interesting. Mm. Oh, There's similar. Similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah similar. similar. That one's a bit bigger, isn't it? Wow. Different stance. This is he's beautiful. about to jump. This one's the one I'm already running. <laughs> this photographer is amazing. Yeah, he is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And this then leads to the VIP cabin, which can arguably be, as the captain was saying, right, uh, a second master. a second master. So you get a separate, like cinema TV room, better said. So you watch your TV if you want your privacy away from the other guests, and it leads you into this VIP, which is almost full beam. The only thing that's blocking it is you have the, the bathroom on the port side. So, wow, what a space. This is, this is spectacular. I mean, this is just as good as... But the cameraman, minus, minus the cameraman the won't be happy with just won't be happy with this because the mirror's not on the headboard behind the bed. <laughs> or on the ceiling. <laughs> or on the ceiling. <laughs> TV. No, normally you guys see me lay down on the bed, but these beds are made so well. You can see that. They've, they've gone like yeah, don't, don't extra. Be, don't, be, don't be that guy. You'll be hated no, by no, the no, crew. No, 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 not this, not this one. You, it's, 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 you, you know when to do it, right? You got to know when There's and when time, not to. time and the place. This is not the time. The, these guys really the want time and place is over the top to guests. do the furnishings are like crazy in here. So you want to sit and lay on as little as possible. <laughs> This bathroom is beautiful. The marble, this bathtub. I like However, the, I like the scent that they're using in here. It's amazing. It smells really nice. 
However, I can't mess this up, so I am gonna sit in it. Yeah, and taste we go. Test out the bathtub. Yes, oh, dude. You know, when I sit in a bathtub at home, it's only the top of me that can be in or the bottom. So I'd have my legs up in the air and then the other half soaking. But this is a. Do you know? I would have done it differently. Problem. Would you? What I would have done, because you got the window there mm. near the bathtub, you can't see the window. I would have lifted, elevated it, have steps going up to the bathtub. I spoke to someone about that just yesterday, Pretty and there was a thing. yacht that had uh, a bath, yeah. and the window was right in line. eye level yeah. with that. And I said, "This is great because most yachts are. Yeah. You get this, you know, which is a cool view, but you can't enjoy it from sitting in the tub. Exactly. And then the shower, lots of mirrors, so." All the viewers can see Tris as well. <laughs> and then I guess you got the toilet and B day. Oh no, just toilet, no B day. Not just any toilet. It's, it's the, one of those electric. It's the toilet 3000. The Toto washlet toilet does everything for you. One stop shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> one stop shit shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, and then that, yes, that's a VIP. Mention all the, the by the way, the, all the Triumph bikes that are. This guy's a huge Triumph fan, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Triumph, it's Triumph photos everywhere. everywhere. Oh, look at this pit. Wow. She's getting the bare minimum. That's a thirsty bear. <laughs> oh, you know what picture you guys do have to see is the wolf one. Did we, did we show that? The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really in the main good salon. One. We'll see that afterwards. But this is, um, I recognize her, that model. She's um, Cara, is it Cara Delevingne? I don't know. Is that her? I don't recognize her. I think it's her. She was in. I know her face. She did that movie with uh, Margot Robbie, you know, the, the actress from Wolf of Wall Street as well. Anyway, mm. that's a cool picture. Mm. Right, so let me exit the VIP. Again, through the lobby with the photos of the Jaguars. Jaguar. Are they Jaguars? Uh, Pan Black Panthers? Panthers. Maybe? Panthers, yeah. yeah. And this leads now into the main salon. Well, first of all, we have the main formal, formal dining. And so, when you, when you, Alex, when you're doing your cutlery, how do you know which cutlery to use? Simple. Spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> One for the spaghetti, one oh, for the meatball. Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> one for the meatball. One for the okay. meatball, one for the spaghetti, that's right. <laughs> Again, the first, this is the Wolf of Wall Street one. So you obviously got the real Jordan Belford there. Very cool photo. Very, very cool indeed. Is that Jamie Foxx sitting in the back of that photo? I think it is. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to ask Jamie him. Fox, no. <laughs> Backgammon? No, is it, what's, how's it properly pronounced? Backgammon or backgammon? Backgammon. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. Backgammon. Backgammon. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the nice bar there. You got, like, see, you got the Hibiki Japanese whiskey. Oh, Lovely jubbly. Oh, blue label whiskey as well. Amazing. You guys got to take a look at the, this yeah, setup. Hibiki wow. 21. Yeah, the Hibiki 21. Yeah, and the blue label. Very nice. The Louis. The Louis, yes. Some cognac. Only the good stuff. Only the good stuff. And look at this picture on the wall as well. Beautiful. That wolf seems to get around, huh? That wolf's everywhere. He's in a lot of the pictures. Yeah. Isn't? He's a bit of a baller. This has a lift. Nice, right? So what we're going to do now, we'll make our way down to the lower guest cabins which would be, I presume, four separate cabins. Yep. Oh, and oh, no, that's the mirror. Oh, oh you we almost can, I pulled almost the yacht right guy. into that, that's my reflection. He almost pulled the yacht God. guy. <laughs> almost, yeah, I almost pulled a yacht guy. So these will be copy-paste, these are obviously um, doubles. Hands down, hand, uh, uh, hats off to the crew, man. Yeah, these beds are tight. Job. These beds are tight, dude. Perfectly made. So well made. So anybody watching this video like to charter this yacht and you've got any cabins available, give us a call. We'll happily come and fill up the beds, no problem at all. That's right. Yeah. We all, Alex and I will spoon together. We don't mind. We're not, we're not, we're not. I'll tell you what, you, you, you uh, we'll buy this for a no, month, we'll... I'll definitely spoon with this guy. <laughs> Get this from us for a month. <laughs> Good 
one who shot this. Uh, they've got an onboard, um, I think the ETO does a lot of the stuff on board. Oh, does he? Yeah. Right, okay. Dude, that's a huge plus on the, the resume, right? Cameraman? Yeah. It's gotta be, because he's like, yes, we'll the, take you. Yeah, these days, everybody wants it. And then you've got the final two guest cabins, which you said, Alex, what do you call these in the States, these types of beds? Uh, Double, doubles. No, but you said they're, they're, they're... Queens, full. We call, we call it a full. It's a full, it's a double. Full queen, then king. Uh, two of them. Wow. Because it's not quite a queen, but it's not quite. Well, actually, then we can actually share this room instead. Have bed each. I like so that better than the spoon. spooning. How's your snoring? <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Is it really? That's what okay. I've been told. And then, again, you've got the uh, Toto toilet. Six thousand. The to <laughs> this one's the six thousand. That's right. The so one upstairs was a three thousand. This is higher pressure. Very beautiful. The point. Right, I think then we obviously can't film the crew mess guys because there's crew living on board. We don't want to invade their privacy. And a lot of you guys watching these videos always ask for the to see the crew accommodation, but we must respect their privacy because they are crew living on board full time. And they're working. And they're working. They've got time so to it's clean not, it for it's us. Not, it's not fair for them. Uh, we'll try and see, I think now, if we can get into the engine room and do the main deck aft. That'd be good. You guys are going to enjoy that. I'm sure that's going to be something. How do we get into the engine room? We need to find um, Captain. Captain Mike. Down to the beach club. Oh, is this the beach club, right? Okay. Okay, down to the beach club. From the main deck aft. Oh, wow, look at this. Holy crap. I had no idea this was here. Yeah, I remember this. You, yeah, you cracked that open. You mm. seen the setup. It was a big mm. setup. Big inflates on that for me. The jet seas come up to the This is epic. Wow, very cool. This is part of What's in this space here? Uh, there's, so well, a starboard tech space, sort of. Right. There, but in there, there's some storage. There's a day head in there. Okay. This is all just technical space. I see. Okay. How yeah. that lighting trick? Is that all right? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's very. Oh, a bar here as well. Very nice. Very important for. Don Julio in the house. Really. To have a game of chess. Yeah. Right. Never there. The what? That would never be there because this door would be open. It's got the flyboards. Okay, on it. yeah. This is more like a water sports area. Yeah. Yeah. So you put this for the show. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Those no, good guests uh, like it. They can just come straight up the platform and. Yeah, yeah. Race. Hang out. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Yeah. Well, All right. Do it. Let's head on through. Control in there. Okay. You see on the right here, guys. So these are the MTU 4000s. Absolutely, yeah. The big twin V12s, ladies and gents. Cruising speed was 15 knots, remember? Yeah. yeah. Top speed 16. 16. Yeah, yeah. See, I remember. Well, what I, what I noticed here that most people might not notice is this important bar. Can you explain that to us? <laughs> it's for getting down, yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> not for chin ups. It is a chin up bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see, uh, yeah. <laughs> Three CAD generators, 160 kilowatts each. Yeah. And that takes us down. It's not a huge engine. Does the job. Does the job. Propels the yacht. Okay, you've got your fuel gauge sensors here, the manual ones. That looks like your fuel shutoff valve, so it's like. Quick close the yet. So sludge tanks, yeah. and this yeah. takes us into tank tops. Hand wheels. Are these the, the fuel tank tops? Yeah. Okay. And also some stuff too, you know. Yeah. So it's quite nice to have you have good, well, relatively good access, isn't it? Yeah. So how many how many liters do you well how many tons do you hold? Uh, 120 cubes. Okay, 100 cubes. Wow. So we can cross from Gibraltar to Antigua. Okay. Just direct. All right. Okay. Just wow. Yeah. Uh, what, but that'd be at 12 knots. Uh, 12 eight. 12. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tw oh, 12 knots. Decent, 13, decent cruising yeah. speed. Yeah. And all this is great. You got all the storage space. Yeah. yeah. Well, both of them. 
It's amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. And it would be held. Following you back this way, yes? So the forward. So this is like the bottom of the elevator shaft, so like the service area. Ah, okay. okay. So this is the bottom of the elevator shaft, so for any kind of servicing or maintenance, this is where the technicians can access from. Yeah. And then just sort of emergency watertight door here. Crew. Crew area. area. Not at, no, just a laundry. Not That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Is this the main laundry, is it? It is, yeah. So it's quite a small one, but you know. Yeah, it is small. Okay, so you got the twin Miele washer dryers. Oh, well, you got triple actually. Yeah, cozy. Yes. Up there, you've got bell thruster room and some interior stores. Okay. Yeah. Can we have a look? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this goes all the way forward to access all the servicing areas, and so this goes underneath the bottom of all the guest areas. What's this? Freezer. What is this here? Fridge freezer. Fridge freezer. freezer. Can have a quick look. Look at that, guys. Yeah, light here. So this is probably one bit inside. Pump room. I see a red light, but I want to touch that. Very soon. Anyway, big walking uh, bridge. Wow. I didn't, I didn't see that on here, though. Any of this. I didn't see this on the part no, of the... No, this is more like in the I didn't back. see any of that on this tour car. <laughs> you see, we get special access. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, look at this. Workbench. Oh, workbench. Mm. oh I love all that. All the labeling. Yeah. That's great for my OCD. Yes. Work in progress, I believe, yeah. You get another one. This is all your fire suppression system? Yes, yeah, high fog. High fog, great. Perfect. Well, ultra fog in it too, yeah. Um, yeah oh, they call it, is there a difference? Is that ultra fog, it's the same thing, eh? Uh, yeah, the Italian version is called ultra fog. Okay. Different company, but yeah, it's all it's, the same. It's essentially the same high concept. Sure. Or, a nozzle right there, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you need that on the boats, too, okay. And these these are hydraulic pumps, are they? Yes, yeah, for stabilizers. Same. Yeah, okay. And you got emergency fire and bilge pumps down here. Yep. Separate from the engine room, which is great. And those look like refrigeration for the freezer. Yes. Wow. Very cool. Perhaps there's just below the crew area, so you can have a crew mess. Oh, have you seen that one? Nope, not yet. And then we've got four, we've got the tenders, so we can have a Okay, look. yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, just imagine kind of all the policies. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a bit clear. DPAs. Okay. Did you just stop filming going through yet? No, we're good. Yeah, so okay, so this is all now crew accommodation, crew right? Accommodation. So to get to the tender garages, yeah, it's up forward. So this is your rescue boat that also right, yep. can act as a sort of a, a guest tender, guess, but yeah, yeah. really you don't really want to chat with guests. No. Yes. Do you guys have all your tenders on board? Or do you tow a chase boat as well? We've got a chase boat, we don't okay. tow it. Uh, okay. It's a 48 foot wallet. Okay. Right, it goes under its own power. Yeah, just carry it as another chase boat. And that's okay. just your sort of standard rib, just the 25. And you've got a Spark Sea Doo and what's this, an RXP, I guess? Yeah. We've got wakeboards, water skis, cover jet skis. So this opens, okay, opens up, yeah. and then you basically slide it all out on the, on the davits and then lower it down. How, just so I know for reference, where's the, how high up are we off the waterline here? Yeah, it's, it's about four meters off the waterline. Four, okay, so we're quite high up. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Quite high. So you're in chunk, it's a bit, sometimes a bit more glorious, but you, you do, <laughs> Yeah, but the things with ones that's too low down, yeah. you get the water coming in, don't you? Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, nice. pros and cons to both. Yeah. Oh, and then just up here is a mooring deck. Let's have a look. Oh, this is where the anchor station is, it? This is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Aha. Hiya. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. 
Shona. Tristan. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Hi. Are you on polishing Shona. duties? Yeah. Big job. Big job. Lots of stainless, huh? Yeah. Loads. Wow. Endless. Yeah. God, it must be, when you're launching, launching, when you're shooting your anchors, yeah. it's so loud in here. You yeah, have to wear, oh, you got the earmuffs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The earmuffs. Wow. It's, uh, it is, uh, but actually the guests don't really hear it, which is amazing. They won't. Yeah. You guys will hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got a couple of deep stores down there, which is, uh, as you can imagine, full of stuff. There. So do you, do you throw your healing lines from here? You throw them from upstairs, but you, oh. you sort of hang them down. Over. And then uh, someone's up there. Okay. Says, right. Gotcha. Here on the Catholic Yeah. Wow. How many lengths of chain do you guys have? Not enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> it never is. <laughs> six. Well, six okay. Okay. It's funny you say that, I was just talking about Capri earlier. Yeah. I was saying, why don't people spend more time in Croatia? Yeah. He was decided to go to Capri. Like, oh, yeah. there's a boat there. It's uh, horrible anchoring. Is it? It's always bad. Yeah. Croatia's but it's so the place better. to be, because everybody... Well, Croatia's a place to be. Remember the, the people who want to be there are yeah. not yachting. They're like, this yeah. is great, we just want to be there. We're like, yeah, but yeah. it's shitty weather. They don't yeah. really think about that. Yeah, deal with it, pal. Not nice. You know, that's deep. It's that's busy. That's all they about it. Wow. Like a bosun locker yeah, type. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Is this a structural beam? Is this? Uh, that's yeah, I think oh, that's for the, the okay, the forward mast yeah. headlight, yeah. Then, yes. If you want to go up that hatch and open to the forward deck, you can have a forward deck. Yeah, we've been on the forward deck, yeah. Okay, great. So it is it is coded to be touch and go. Well, no, I think they haven't actually got the uh, the fire pump set up for it. Right. Okay. It's yeah. Built for it, but then you need to make some modifications on the boat. Right. Okay. But turns no one's going. You got no. You got no um, Jet A1 fuel tanks. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Okay. That's nice. All right. Let's continue. Back aft. Thanks very much. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Now this here is the main engine of the boat. That's what one pushes this baby. <laughs> yeah. That forward anchor station is where you go and hide. And when you hear people, you pretend you're working. <laughs> Start polishing. You pretend you're being polishing or more. <laughs> That's what I used to do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and that's through to the guest area. Is anyone in here? Yeah, have a poke in. So this, okay, crew mess, guys. Yeah, not. Not massive. Yeah, for how many, 20, how many crew do you say? Seven, 17. 17. 17. Okay. But one's yeah. on the chase boat, so. Oh, of course, yeah. Does he actually sleep on board the uh, chase boat? No, no, we've got, we've got bunks for 17, actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. It was actually built for 15, but they've added some two extra beds. Okay. I'm actually very lucky to see the crew mess, guys. So the galley, did you have a look at the galley? No, not yet. No? I was going to see the way all the food is made. Yeah. Ah, oh, proper nice commercial galley. Yeah, you got the uh, the food heaters here, the warmers, and what the official name is. Big commercial ovens. That is open. Yeah. Can we do a walk in? You walk in, and I'll pull this out of the air, and you can add like a bing, uh -huh. and I pull out some croissants. Are you guys hungry? <laughs> Yeah, I made you some croissants yeah. inside so the you, wooden thing and everything. Yeah. <laughs> commercial dishwasher as well. So do you guys have a, a head chef and a crew chef? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Otherwise, too much. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Aaron's pretty good. He's a head chef. Okay. Been doing for a while. Guest loves food. Great. It's so important for a charter. Good yeah. food <laughs> and consistent so cooking. Yeah. You know. I say it's the most important job on the boat, yeah, and yeah. the uh, interior manager. From from a guest perspective, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, there's a captain as well. Nice. Ross, go. Chief engineer, Ross. I know the chef. Yes. Hey, Ross. Hi. Alex. Yeah. How are you? Are you having a good film good. session? Good. 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 Where? You Ross. Oh. Tristan. Tristan, I did see you up there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Tristan. Tristan as well. Oh, that's a little bit confusing. Tristan, which one? <laughs> <laughs> you get Tristan. Tristan. Yeah, yeah. You do. Mm. Yeah. He's filming. I'm running. 
<laughs> we'll edit all this out. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Try to stop recording now. We're going to carry on up to Mendigot. Yeah. Mendigot, yeah. straight through here, yeah. Great, and that will be concluded. Enjoy. Take care, mate. Cheers. Thanks very much. Nice This is all green, green. Yeah, yeah. We're going to conclude the video here on the main deck aft. So this is usually the area where, they, when you first arrive with the guests to uh, welcome the guests, we welcome drinks. After being swimming, I want to come up here, have a bit of a chill. Um, so yeah, that's where. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely again another spot where you can hang out, relax. Yeah. And. Um, Take a nap. You like your nap, sir? I do like my nap. <laughs> you just been napping all, all day long. Everywhere, everywhere's got to. You got to have a nap. That's how I judge boats. Can I nap there? No. Can I nap there? No. But what I can do is have Triumph <laughs> to make you not nap. This video has been brought to you by Triumph Water. <laughs> Stay refreshed, stay hydrated. <laughs> right, guys, I think we're going to conclude the video there. We've got more people coming on. Alex, it's been great doing this first collab together. Thank you together. so much. It's been great. Guys, appreciate you. Link down in the description Try. box below. I've also put a link to his Instagram, so go and give him a follow. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. See you and ciao. Hasta la pasta.